Hi, beautiful collective. Welcome back, everybody. Let's get to your messages. Thank you for being here, everyone. So for the collective energy, what I am pulling on is things that could be potentially uh, giving you money blockages, things, um, ways that you need to remove any money blockages that are in your way. Collective energy, spirit, thank you. Hmm. Rip up contracts you made in your mind about money. I am free to be wealthy. There is an unlimited supply of money for everyone. And my money benefits us all. So... so Money just isn't for some people, it's for you too. Some people may be saying, oh, that's only if the rich can afford this. I can never win. I can't be rich, but if I become rich, I'll be depriving others. It's like, these are all money mindset blockages you could be telling yourself. I achieve my money goals. Somebody is sitting here going, I can't win. That's only for the rich. Well, maybe if you're rich, you could do this. Well, if I was to become rich, I might be depriving others. Those are all negative money blockages that the universe hears. And that is what you're projecting out into the universe. Somebody needs to hear this. Let's go. Oh, it's such a hassle. I'm stressing about money. Jealous people. Choose friends who will celebrate your prosperity. Uh, so for a lot of you, it's the people that are around you. Choose to be around people that celebrate your wins. And say, I attract supportive people. I am attracting people that will support me and be proud of me and celebrate me, me and celebrate my successes. authenticity your true self emerges for your real purpose your life mission being vigilant you having genuine feelings 3737 have faith it's unlimited zero 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 trust the process it's coming full circle, oneness, wholeness, bonding, merging. So, zero, 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 zero is also unlimited. The universe's resources are unlimited. Heed the signs. Don't ignore divine guidance. Premonitions, taking steps, move with grace, and having the foresight. Thirty, thirty. Achievement, reaching the pinnacle, releasing burdens, embrace your success, prosperity and wealth. 68, 68, could be past life karma or things you did in the past coming back to you in a good way. Stability, hard work paying off. 
four, 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 four. It's all being aligned. Let's give the collective some messages on love. Love messages. Collective energy. That's the problem here. Finances were affecting a connection. And it's like somebody is sitting here working, working, working all the time, but you and this person are on different pages. It's like... Does this situation align with your higher values and morals? This is about recognition and rewards. Integrity. Does this situation align with you? You and this person may not share the same vision. It's like... It's like they were stifling your financial growth. It's like they may have had a negative mindset about money, about finances. Taking the leap of faith. Someone has, uh, like, look, you're balanced. This is someone who's the Midas touch. This is someone who is financially grounded. This is somebody who is financially stable. Everything in balance. Look, it's all part of giving and receiving. So it's like... Your person resents, has resentment about money. They are resentful about money. They are resentful. Um, they might... They may not share the same interest as what you do. They could be having a codependency here. They could be ignoring. Uh, look, you're being aligned. You're meant to have this prosperity. I'm sorry, but you were. Things that come around go around. So your view of money is that you can have. Your view of money is like, if I earn money, look at all the people that I can be helping. They have a resentment, a codependency. They're cold. You're warm. You nurture things. You like your money to grow. You like to nurture things. You like to... You're in balance. You're like, you can have stability. You can have this wealth. You can have this prosperity. But they are resenting. It's a negative mindset about money. You are confident. And they feel betrayed. This is your destiny. This person got hung up on some kind of financial issue. Hung up on something here. It's their view of 
money, their view of finance. You are progressing. That's why you're getting the victory. You have a positive mindset about money. You have a positive mindset about relationships. You have a positive mindset, period. You are very giving, but you give in balance. This person worries all the time about money. They like to worry. They like to complain. They like to complain about money, resentful of money, angry about money. And that what you manifest comes back to you. You have a positive mindset about money and relationships. You look at money as, well, this can provide for my future. This can give me stability. <coughs> This can help me grow. This can help the people around me grow. But they pushed you away. They're like believing like they're a fool with their money. They have an attitude of they can't manage their own money. They need to learn to manage their own money. Maybe somebody else always was used to managing their money. Maybe somebody else was also always used to controlling the finances or being in control. This person has to get their head out of the sand. It's like they got everybody else doing their thinking for them. Like they're in blame mode for their finances being in the array that it is. Blame the bookkeeper. Blame the accountant. Blame this. Blame that. Blame this instead of learning about money and learning where their money is going and learning themselves about finances. They've always entrusted other people to control their finances. Where you are independent, you learn by controlling your own finances, taking care of your own business, taking care of your own finances. You have learned a lot about money. A lot about business, a lot about investments, a lot about real estate, a lot about stability, retirements, this, that, the other thing. This person leaves it up to everybody else to manage their finances. It is a codependency. And then if they don't manage it properly, then they blame them for it. So what's going on? They're a fool. They say, I'm a fool with my money. I don't know how to take care of my money. Well, isn't it time they learned? Learn. So they're embarrassed and ashamed and regretful. tower. Does this align for your higher good? You are so positive here.
It's like this person is just like buried their head in the sand. You know, like I don't want to be accountable. I don't want to know. Maybe they're ignoring their taxes. Maybe they're ignoring, you know, learning about finance and where their money is going and what their money is doing. Trusting other people with their money. That's a cop out. This person relies on what everybody else tells them <clears throat> is good for them. I bet pentacles, I'm telling you. You have mastered this knowledge. You have mastery of this. This is somebody who has mastered their spiritual lessons or has a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom, has mastered balance. Now, look, I'm telling you, they get dealing with a greedy family or something like that. Maybe they trusted greedy people with their finances. And they've learned a hatred of finance. It's almost like they've entrusted deceptive people, people who were jealous. They have manifested this in their life. So this person's view of relationships is awfully close to their view of their finances. They have a greedy, selfish family member. They're either a mother, a sister, a daughter, an aunt, or whoever the energy that they're with. It's like... It's all about this person doesn't want to look after their own finances, so they put the other people in charge of their money. And someone who they put in charge of their money is dishonest. They could have a crooked bookkeeper, a crooked accountant. They could have entrusted a family member or someone who they have a family with, whoever this feminine energy is, is leading them into the poorhouse here. Heavy burdens. Someone's from their past or something 
coming up from the past is stealing. You're over here financially good. You're over here stable. You have mastered a lot of lessons. Someone's crooked here. It's something to do about a bookkeeper. This person just trusted everyone else with their money instead of learning about their money. Someone's stealing money here. They are creating their own money blockages. <clears throat> this person has formed some type of codependency and it is to do with finances, trusting other people. Maybe they hired someone as a bookkeeper or an accountant or something like this who's a crook. Maybe it's one of their family members. Maybe it's their uh, mother, their sister, their daughter, their whoever this Queen of Cups is. Could be the person they're with. They're skimming off the top. They're robbing this person. They think that they're genuine, sincere, loyal. They're a thief. They could have done something fraudulently with taxes. Something to do with that. This person could be in big trouble. Well, that's them not understanding their own finances. That's them not understanding where their money is going and not keeping an eye on their own money. They should never, ever be trusting other people with money. You should know what your own finances is doing. You should know how much you have, where it's going. Be aware of your own spending. Somebody's stealing from this person and they're bitter and they're angry. There was someone crooked. Or they're dealing with someone, entrusting someone with their money who is a crook.
what it's saying. Someone's doing bookkeeping for them or doing, or they're having an affair with a bookkeeper or something like that. I don't know. Someone to do with finances. Someone at the bank, loans officer. They got a family member who is a banker or works with, uh, has been doing their books for them, who is taking care of their finances looking after their money they're a crook Because this person cannot budget. They don't know how. They're codependent. They're so used to other people looking after their business for them or looking after their finances for them. Instead of learning where their money is coming and going and what their money is doing for them. They're in trust to everyone else. This could be a loans officer, a bookkeeper, a banker. An accountant. Someone's a crook. Which is why it's so valuable for people to know about their own money, about their own spending, about their own investments, where their money is going, what it's doing. And being responsible about money. This person cannot budget. They cannot. So they dump the whole load onto somebody else here. And they're getting stole from. They're being robbed. Because they don't know how to budget. They don't know about their finances. Take care.